And welcome to Eagles Nest, where your Holy Savior Menard Eagles are the away team tonight, uh, hosting the Glenmore Wildcats. This game was originally scheduled for the uh, Glenmore Wildcat field, but uh, the rain over the past two two days and the conditions, and they moved it to the Nest. So uh, welcome back here. He's Danny Clear. I'm Nick McNano. Beautiful day, Danny. Beautiful. Hey. Can't ask after after what happened, took place yesterday and overnight Tuesday night into yesterday. It's this is a wonderful day. Thoughts and prayers out to the people in Lake Charles. Um, and then I, I just didn't realize there was one touchdown in uh, Sabine. Slide L. Oh. Sabine, there was one in Slide yeah. L too. So mm -hmm. thoughts and prayers out to everybody there. But uh, beautiful day out here. About the third time we've we've uh, had this uh, happen for us, where we've had uh, two district games get played at home. Um, but uh, I imagine field conditions in Glenmore is probably not yeah. playable. Yeah, and uh, it looks like it might be a little slick out here in outfield, yeah. but uh, they're going to manage it. So what we're going to do tonight is we're going to start with your away team, your Holy Savior Menard Eagles, and your starting lineup tonight, your Velar and Green starting lineup. Let me pull that up there. Velar and Green starting lineups for this evening. We have... Cooper Scott leading off. Scott leading off. Matter of fact, we're going to go to the let's senior. Go to the, let's yeah, let's go to it's the. It's not in order like that. Yeah, in order like that's that. That's right. You can, you, can, you can make it happen. Yeah, so. I can make it work. I can make it work. So we've got Cooper. We're going to do Cooper there when you see his uh, his younger pitcher as well as his senior pitcher. So Cooper Scott leading off. Cohen LaRue is your number two batter and actually uh, shortstop tonight. So Cohen's bat number two in the shortstop. Carter Markintail is your DH. Mark and tells your DH in the third spot. Drake Aldridge. Drake is back to his back to his starting position at first base and still in the leadoff position. I mean, excuse me, still in the um, uh, number four position. Ben Wade. Ben's uh, moved up now to that that five hole and uh, has been done very well. He's behind the dish tonight. Ben Wade. Case Butterfield. Butterfield is uh, in left field tonight and he's batting six. Butterfield batting six. We have Nate Bilbo. So Nate is third baseman as usual, batting in the seventh position. So Bilbo batting seventh. You have uh, Jake Guillory, Jay's center fielder tonight. You know, Guillory's batting eighth. So center fielder tonight, Jay Guillory. Batting ninth and on the mound tonight, Gavin Hilton. So let me see where Gavin's at here. Gavin's right there. And uh, Danny, this is going to be the first time we've seen Gavin pitch on the broadcast, isn't it? No, we had Help. him. Uh, we had him. Uh, one of the games. That's right. One of the games early. That is correct. Yeah. I'm sorry on that one. And then, so with Gavin going to, so to Ronnie was here. That's right. So with Gavin going to the mound and uh, and Cohen going to shortstop, we have Trey Curley. Curley's uh, Curley's in the um, in second, second hole. Base, yeah. yeah. Second base. Chuck's texting me. Have you tested the headsets, Frank? Okay. Yeah, we're good, Chuck. We we're good on that. Appreciate it. So. Um, now your Velar and Green starting lineup for the home team, Glenmore Wildcats. We have Cameron Parks leading off at shortstop. Wyatt Gillespie, your second baseman, uh, is batting number two. Kean uh, Bordelon, your pitcher tonight, is in the three-hole. We have Hunter Gillespie, your catcher, is in the cleanup spot. JT Thrasher, your first baseman, is in number five hole. Uh, Br Braden Holloway is in right field, and he's batting number number six. Tristan Townley, center field, is batting number seven. Nolan Switch, your third baseman, he's batting eighth. And Riley Coker is your left fielder, and he's batting in the nine hole. So, Danny, uh, man, we're about ready to play some baseball. Let's uh, get this A and A cam going. See the A and A cam right there, and uh, we also have the the clear cam tonight. We're back, so we're back to three camera setup. We're gonna have our follow camera going as well when the ball's put in place. So, Danny, what you think about the other night? I think uh, a lot of things going on that uh, kind of led to maybe a, a, a slow start for the Eagles. They, uh, I think they had the senior night festivities and and uh, you know they'd come off a, a big win off of, from uh, Grant on Monday night and come out a little flat. And uh, Glenmore tried to make them pay for it. Glenmore, scrappy little ball club and. Uh, Thrasher over there at first base. See, he pitched the other night. Pitched uh, pitched well. They hit the ball well. Actually, out hit the Eagles that night. Uh, Eagles only had two hits through the first five innings and were down four two going into that sixth inning. 
and uh, rallied, wound up with five hits over the next two innings to come back for the come from behind win. But again, we talked about it. It's it's, it's likely going to happen come playoff time. So it was uh, it was a good thing to see them respond. Yeah, it was a very good comeback there for the Eagles and uh, and uh, Cooper Scott ended up getting the win. Yeah. I don't know if you mentioned that. Yeah. I was looking around. Okay, no, not tonight. Not tonight. Okay. But yeah. Not, yeah. And speaking of Cooper Scott, it's him leading off here in the top of the first inning. So Cooper Scott up the bat with Cohen LaRue and your X mark on deck circle. Eagles in the green tops. Glamour in their white uniforms, red hats. Strike one there from Bordelon. So ask Bordelon what his record was when he was out here warming up, and he said he didn't know. So, okay. so All right. that's, uh, well, I tell you, that's, you know, it's, it's not always a bad thing. That's not. So he's definitely not. Not care about stats. That's Let's right. Just play baseball. That's right. So Start a little early tonight, 555. Uh, yeah. The one pitcher to Coop. There was a hospital foul ball there. And Still the, bouncing around in there. Jeez. That was a tough one there from Coop, but uh, everybody's safe over there. So he's down 0-2. It's a good start here for Bordelon. The pitch. Another Riverside Hospital foul ball back. Still 0-2. Coop's come in. He's hitting 286 for the season. On base percentage is 485. Just fixing to ask you what his yep, average yep, was yep. now. And uh, he's got uh, three home runs leading the team. Another Riverside Hospital foul ball coming right at us. So, uh, but I tell you what, they, you know, we we talked about the tough schedule that they started with. So that led to a little bit of the seeing some quality arms that they saw early in the season. Um, but uh, uh, these guys, almost everybody in the lineups, brought their bat, batting average up over the last few weeks in Excellent. this this winning streak. Two here, another oh, play. Riverside Hospital foul ball there. So. Coop's using up the baseballs for now. Yeah. Wonder what Jimmy gives out for the return <laughs> foul ball. Yeah, those days are over. I think. Are they? Yeah, okay. I think I don't think you get anything. Anymore. Just a courtesy for thing now. Freshman probably go track it down. Ball probably take it there. away from some kid or something, <laughs> <laughs> like Ronnie did for the Rugaroos. Goes out. So that's about eight pitches in this at bat, and that's the first ball that Bordelon's thrown. So. Ball two looks like he was that. I think it might have been a curveball. Yeah, he, okay. he it don't look like he. He looks like he goes fastball curveball, and that curveball's uh, that big looping curveball. Um, Shot coming straight at us. It's off the third baseman there, so it's going to be a, a uh -oh. play there. Oh, you got him. Cooper gets around to second on the steal. I mean, on the uh, the air it goes to third. So. We're going to call that a single, yep. right? Yeah, give him a single on that. And uh, error, two base error. Good start. Good start. Yep, Cole LaRue up the bat now with uh, Carter Mark until the X mark on deck circle. And, uh, you know, third baseman there, um, Sweat, made a valiant effort for it. And then it just gets over in that grass. And, of course, coverage probably hasn't been able to get as low as he wanted to go because it, it, it's wet. But uh, it kind of died over there. First pitch to LaRue. That's an off-speed pitch for strike one. And, uh, and we talked about this. Um, they, 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 I'm not going to say they struggle, but they don't, they don't start off as fast uh, with a pitcher that doesn't quite have the velo. They, they like a pitcher that throws the ball a little bit faster. Oh, one here. Call that one a ball. So one and one. Oh, got a breeze blowing tonight. Looks like it's coming in. North west wind, maybe. Yep, it's supposed to be out of it's supposed to be out of northwest, ten miles an hour, and drop down to about six. Riverside Hospital foul ball down the right field line. Cohen LaRue there. So now one and two. Eagles come in winning 12 in a row now. 18 and eight on the season. Number four in the power rankings. 
Yeah, and I was talking to Mary Jones, a co-worker from Glenmore, and said that they have a doubleheader tomorrow. Glenmore does against Rapids. One two pitch there in the in the in the derf, I guess you call it. So uh two and two now to LaRue. And then they have um another game on Saturday. So they still have three games okay. left. Eagles looking to pick up a win tonight and go undefeated in the district. Bring him up. Got him. Wow. Good pitch. I couldn't see uh I couldn't see where the uh, what the umpire had done there, but when he stepped back, so yeah. good, good eyes there, Danny. So that's the first out of the inning for for the Wildcats. Strike out there of Cohen Larue, and now we have Carter Marketill up the bat with Drake Aldridge next mark on deck circle. Coach is looking for something in play here, in on the ground or or in the outfield in here. So score this run. It's, don't imagine he's. Looking to get a runner stranded at third. And the other night, remember the first run scored by by the Eagles was a stolen. They stole home. <laughs> yeah. I mean a straight steal home. I mean we we talked about first two runs were were basically walk. I think we walked in the second run. Right. So talking about manufacturing runs. Yeah. One zero pitch here from Bordelon. Carter's yeah. got that one to play to the shortstop. Going to score Cooper, and it'll be a fielder's choice. So um, so now two away, but Cooper Scott scores for your Eagles. Did his job. Yeah. I mean, obviously, you'd like to drive the ball somewhere, base hit, but, uh, but at the very least, you, you, you want to be able to score the run. He did, so. Yep, Drake Aldridge up the bat now with Ben Wade in your X mark on deck circle. Trying to. First pitch for Borlaun, and that's, that's going to get be down. A base hit there to center field. Good Drake, job by Drake. Just, Drake. just a base hit machine. Good work He's there by almost almost 400 for the season. He was 392 going into that at bat. So yeah. Drake's been consistent all season. Yeah. Everybody else has had some ups and downs. Drake's Drake's been consistent, and then a lot of that has to do with his approach at plate. Mm -hmm. um, seeing that ball over the middle and. Or away and just going with it, and uh, that's uh, not trying to do too much with it. And that, there again, he was out in front, but he was able to he was able to hold his hands back long enough to uh, to, to get the barrel on it and lift it in the center field. So you've been wading up the bat now with Case Butterfield and your X mark on deck circle. Riverside Hospital foul ball there. Coach Jordan Field. I hope that got that on camera. Ben's been on a tear lately. He went two for four uh, Monday night. Two for no, two for three Monday night. Two for four last night. Joking with him. Uh, barrels it up. Yep, and he lines out to the shortstop there. But like you said, Gillespie with the catch. So what do we have here, Danny? Eagles pick up one run on two hits, one runner left on base. Coming up for Glenmore, Parks, Gillespie, and Borderline. You're watching Eagle Baseball on 446 Sports. mobile banking app is changing the way we bank. Things are getting easier, transactions are getting safer, and you have access 24-7. All the functionality of banking you're used to made easier to use anywhere, anytime, and more secure than ever. Simple, seamless, safe. Download our mobile app today. And welcome back to the nest here where your Holy Savior Menard lead the Glenmore Wildcats one to nothing going into the 
bottom of the first inning, and that is correct. We're the away team tonight because Glenmore's field was unplayable, so they decided to move it here. So we're going to have leading off for the Wildcats, Cameron Parks with Wyatt Gillespie in the X mark on deck circle. And Parks had a really good, really good night the other night. I know um, a lot of, I think he was, but two for four, but I think the other two that, that were barreled up really yeah, well. Yeah. So um, Played a good center field. And uh, really, their they're one through four or five hitters were, were solid, solid all night, hit the ball hard. Probably for, unfortunate for them, they, they didn't get any more runs than they did. Yeah. See him there in your screen walking up to the plate in the clear cam. Starting shortstop tonight. So Gavin comes in. He's pitched in five games. He had three starts. He is one and two on the season. Um, Gavin is uh, Gavin's probably what we probably consider more a thrower than a pitcher, and he's probably going to live with his fastball, and he'll break off a curveball every now and again. But uh, they're looking to get some good innings from Gavin tonight. Yep, and that curveball there starts out with a strike, so good start there by, by Gavin. Kevin's had a good year at shortstop. Yes. Right there, first one to Cohen LaRue. LaRue to Aldridge there for six to three put out there of of Parks to start off the the game here, or the the bottom of the first inning for the Wildcats. It looks like he went back to that curveball again, and Parks saw it. He hit it, he hit it hard. He hit it right at Cohen. You see there is Gillespie, Wyatt Gillespie up to bat with Bordelon in the X mark on deck circle. First pitch here from Hilton to Wyatt Gillespie, strike one. So he's um, getting ahead, which is which is key. Yeah. And he does not waste any time, so I better be ready. Riverside Hospital. Stay oh, in nope, play. that's going to be stay in play. to Drake. Yep, Drake fields that up, that pop up. So a quick two up, two down for the Wildcats in the bottom of the first inning. Now we have your pitcher. Kean Bordelon, he's a senior with uh, the catcher, Hunter Gillespie, who's also a senior next mark on deck circle. First pitch to Keen. Drive. He drives that one. Jay's if Jay can get back there. Yep. yep, Jay's back there with the catch. Five pitch inning from Gavin, all strikes. So that was uh, no runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left on base for the Glenmore Wildcats. Coming up for... The Eagles, Butterfield, Bilbo, and Guillory. You're watching Eagle Baseball on 446 Sports. Hi, I'm Kimberly Harrell, Certified Residential Appraiser. I am currently a leading provider of appraisal services for mortgage lending, employee relocation, estate planning, and community property settlements. My experience in real estate over the past 13 years and currently serving as president of the Greater Central Louisiana Realtors Association has given me a clear understanding of the real estate world and the ever-changing market we live in today. For any of your valuation needs, give me Kimberly Harrell a call. In central Louisiana, you might see me at the ballparks or soccer fields, or we might cross paths at the grocery store. I'm your local Farm Bureau insurance agent, your local expert when it comes to protecting what you love and depend on. I'm Jason Hall. Learn more about how Farm Bureau Insurance can save you time and money. So talk to Hall at 318-791-HAWK and let me help you protect your biggest investments. Real service, real people. Farm Bureau Insurance. And welcome back to Eagles Nest here in the top of the second inning. We have leading off is Case Case Butterfield. He he lost his sleeve, huh? Yep. Is, yeah. Case Butterfield up the bat. Maybe he's changing things up. Maybe so. With Nate Bilbo in the X mark on deck circle. I guess I should have listened to you, Danny. You told me that before, <laughs> didn't you? First pitch from Bordelon. Ball there. So. I keep looking around for Chuck Perkins. I hear his voice around here, but uh, he's not nowhere nowhere in sight. Huh. So he said it was pretty cool hearing his voice on the broadcast. Riverside Hospital foul ball straight 
over the back over there of the home, st well, the away <laughs> team stands tonight. <laughs> so. So one and one here to Case. Ball two, a little short. I appreciate Chuck, appreciate everything he does. He uh, really helps us out in time of need and helps us out when, whenever we're not, you know, so desperate just trying to tweak some things like he did today. I appreciate he, the Wallace I Associate scoreboard, he's got it working for us properly in a good space. 3 1. Strike there, so now it's 3 2. Bullon throws that uh, big looping curveball and then then comes back with a fastball. Just the, the change of pace is is you know adjustments. Three two here. It's gonna be a fly ball out here to center fielder Cam Sunder and gets it. So Case Butterfield retired. To full through uh, that's Tristan Townley, who was the center fielder making that catch. Nate Bilbo up to bat now with. Ooh, excuse me, Jay Gillery, the X mark on deck circle. I think Nate may have changed his walk. Well, maybe not. Uh, I hadn't got them all down yet, so the only one I can recognize for sure probably is Car uh, Carter's. <laughs> There's that hospital foul ball over the field house there, so strike number one. I know Jay's because it's thrift store, and uh, <laughs> that that was one of the songs that uh that we that we listened to. So uh, so yeah, got Braden Holloway's dad walking behind us, making it to the game here from work. One one and one. Somebody else has had a good season in the field, Nate. Yes. Up to bat, he's had a tremendous season at third base. Boy, that, there's that. I'm gonna have off. to. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to watch that. And that that's. I mean, it looks like the late movement, and I mean, it looked yeah, like a strike from here, but. It, it, yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, that's one's. It's it's a looping curveball. Right. It's not a, and so. That's that's the one of the ones that you got to trust that's coming at you. You got to see the spin, right? And, and you got to be say, okay, that's breaking into the zone. Mm -hmm. And and uh, if you don't, it's going to break over. Uh, but if you can see it, usually those are the ones that get hung because he's he's not able to get anything else that's over the plate uh, to break. That's what he'll do Ooh, right there. Fastball there. So that's that's what that pitch can do though. That pitch is it sets up that fastball in and. And it'll it'll shock you and surprise you. Yeah, I definitely wasn't questioning it because I mean it yeah. just I just want to see the the loop on it. It uh, it looks like it's uh. Well, like I said, if you can recognize it, it's it's gonna if it's if it's starting. The only place it's gonna be a strike is if it's starting at you. If it starts at the plate or middle of the plate, it's breaking out or away. You know. That one's outside for ball one. You see Jay Gillery up the bat now with Gavin Hilton in your X mark on deck circle. Barely. Right here to the third baseman. Throws over. Oh, one bounce there. So, what you think? Think that's a hit, Danny? Or uh, you think? I'd give that an error. Okay. I mean, it, it was. He made the play, and the throw was there on time. If the if he catches it. So. Gotcha. So Gillery's Gillery's on base. We'll, we'll wait for the official yeah, score. Yeah, we could do that. That's right. Gillery's on first now. You got Gavin Hilton. You see Hilton there in your clear cam, and uh, with Cooper Scott and the X mark on deck circle. Jay's definitely one that'll they they could put on the move here. Yeah, well, and this wouldn't be a bad time to do it. But Gavin up. Gavin hits the ball well. See what kind of move Bordelon has. There yeah. you go. Him leaning a little bit. But Gavin's if he gets thrown out, Gavin's like a, a an extra leadoff hitter coming out next in and, and and if he get makes it, then we got a runner in scoring position for Gavin. He's off. 
Stolen base there by Jay Guillory. So good call there, Danny. That is. He called a ball or strike on that one? I was watching. The, I wasn't watching the pitch. I was yeah. watching. So we'll see here in a second. I, I, they got it a ball on the game changer here. So Yep. All right. So we'll change that on the Wallace High Associate School Board here. And that was they are ruling that an error. Four loans keeping him honest. No hit for Jay there. So no away cooking there in the no, no in the no. way teams dug out. Jeez. Coach, coach keeping them honest. Mm-hmm. There's a pickoff move from Borlon, but Guillory's back. To second baseman. Did they move? Yeah, okay, they did. They moved. I have to uh they made some adjustments, defensive adjustments. Ball there. So all right, so they have moved Parks to center field from short. And they moved Townley to second and moved Gillespie to shortstop. I think uh Parks only played shortstop whenever Gillespie pitched the other night. No, he was he was a shortstop tonight. Yeah. Uh, no. He didn't start there. He did not? Mm -mm. Okay. Ball three. He started in center field because that's okay. why I made that comment earlier. He played because okay. he played some center field the other night. And I got you. Okay. Well, they that, had that, him, the they, lineup might be wrong. Yeah. I think so. They, yeah. They, he, okay. He played out there in the gotcha. 3 0 count. We, we over here arguing about that. <laughs> <laughs> Three zero here to Hilton. Guillory's got a big lead off a second. Ball four. So Louisiana Land Bank walk based on balls there for Gavin Hilton, which brings up Cooper Scott to bat with uh, Cohen Larue and X Mark on deck circle. Pitching. Coach going out to have a talk right now. Already oh, changed him. In parks. I want this to get away from him. You want to take a break here, Nick? Yeah, let's take a break, and then when we come back, we'll do this uh, Laniap home care uh, pitch and change. You're watching Eagle Baseball on 446 Sports. In central Louisiana, you might see me at the ballparks or soccer fields, or we might cross paths at the grocery store. I'm your local Farm Bureau insurance agent, your local expert when it comes to protecting what you love and depend on. I'm Jason Hall. Learn more about how Farm Bureau Insurance can save you time and money. So talk to Hawk at 318-791-HAWK and let me help you protect your biggest investments. Real service, real people. Farm Bureau Insurance. Back to Eagles Nest here on the campus of Holy Savior Menard in Alexandria, Louisiana. We have a Laniap home care pitch and change here where we have Cameron Parks coming in for uh, Kean Bordelon. Looks like Bordelon is going to be going to second. We have uh, Tristan Townley. I told you Townley was in center field. I mean, you were de <laughs> you were debating me on that. <laughs> no, so that was a good eye there. Uh, you'd called Danny called that earlier. So uh, so the the roster or the the lineup card somewhat accurate now that we received but uh but i, I want to also say thanks to to coach west for the lineup card and all the other coaches that have been the way teams here uh, we've been fortunate to get the lineup cards and they've been very helpful during the broadcast so cooper scott up the bat guillory on second base gavin hill on first two outs top of the second parks with the first pitch strike a little different from what they were seeing. Yep. But, but they did see Parks the other night. He pitched uh, an inning or, inning or two um, against the Eagles on Tuesday night. He's got a live arm. And 
other strikes. Yeah, so Cooper too. knew that. He he's probably regretting not not hacking at that. My guess is Parks probably would have started today, but with them being up four to two, mm-hmm. Coach West probably went for the went for the win on Tuesday night. That's yeah. my guess. Yeah, I mean, I think we talked about it. I mean, mm-hmm. that was, and then when he then when they tied it back up, uh, they went to the change, put put Gillespie in to finish it up. But uh, but yeah, I think we talked about it, and that was that was probably his thought. He he had an opportunity to to steal a win here, and he didn't work out for him, but. Was behind him. It was behind him. He actually looked like he tried to try to turn into it a little <laughs> bit. It went behind him. So well, two and two here. Yeah, you don't have to get out of the way. Yeah. Two outs, top of the second inning. Boy, Jay's got a serious lead. Oh, oh that's good. He good takes read. A, yeah. And Jay Guillory advances to second. Gavin Hill uh, third and Gavin Hill advances to second on the Wild pitch there by Park, so three and two. So saw Jay get a, his secondary lead, and he didn't he didn't hesitate when he saw it hit the it hit the dirt or the the the, the dirt as you call it. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Coop. Yep. So Cooper Scott goes down on on strike. So what do we have, Danny? So we had uh, the Eagles have no runs on no hits, two runners left on base. Coming up for Glenmore will be Gillespie, Thrasher, and Holloway. You're watching Eagle Baseball on 446 Sports. BK Distributors is proud to support high school athletics on 446 Sports. BK is the one-stop shop for trophies, banners, awards, letter jackets, and just about anything award-related. And now, welcome BK Apparel and BK Promotions to the family. For all your spirit apparel needs and anything you need to brand your business, when you think of anything you need with your name on it, think BK. Check them out on Facebook or at bkdistrib.com. BK Distributors, apparel and promotions in Pine. And welcome back to Eagles Nest here in the bottom of the second inning. We have Gillespie up to bat, your catcher. Thrash your next mark on deck circle. See Gillespie there in your clear cam. Gavin Hilton still on the mound for the Eagles. Park's coming over here to throw a little bit more. First pitch from Gavin's high, ball one. First ball Gavin's thrown tonight. Well, we got the opportunity. We'll talk about uh, that strike there. So one and one. The Lady Eagles officially came out yesterday. They are the four seed in the playoffs, and actually, they are already know their opponent. Their opponent is going to be ULAB, University Lab out of Baton Rouge. They beat Acadian or Renaissance today 16 to 1. Wow. Yep. I didn't realize it was going to be that fast. Yeah. So. Yeah. 2 1 here from Gavin. He's calling the low strike. He called the same thing on, on Coop. So Gillespie's about the same, same height. So 2 2 here from Hilton. Ooh, and high and inside, so three and two. So, we'll talk yeah. about some other local teams, but yeah, the Lady Eagles will host University Lab. Bring him up. Oh, no, go get your bat, young man. <laughs> so, Sabine stay back, strike out there from Gavin Hill. And I got to get used to this guy's, uh, got to get used to his calls here. But, yeah. uh, first, is this first strike out for Gavin? Uh, yeah. yeah okay. Yep. Well, you have Thrasher, who's your. Lefty and man, he went. He went. Uh, yeah, he he went about as deep as he can go without yeah. hitting it out the other night. He he probably short hopped the fence. Ooh, he was swinging for the fences yeah. there too. I don't blame him. So strike one there, and you have uh, he's probably 
wind kind of blowing across there, so it'd probably help it a little bit. Halloween X mark on deck circle. Strike two, so Gavin's still coming out, Dylan. Shoving, as the kids say. <laughs> Shove day. The park's got a little pop over here. Yeah, it does. Another Sabine State Bank strike out there for Gavin Hilton, so two backwards Ks. Yep, two up, two down here, and See Braden Holloway up the bat now with uh, Tristan Townley in your X mark on deck circle. Gavin, yeah, not wasting any time. Strike one. So, Danny, we have for for the Wildcats. You have Holloway's a freshman, Townley's a freshman, and Sweat's a freshman. Ball there. So they're starting. They start one, two, three, four, five. They start five seniors and four freshmen. Wow. That's a hard hit ball. That is a good nope. Trey Curly's good got play. it. To Trey Drake. Well so four to three there on the put out for the third out of the inning. What do we have here, Danny? Lemore, no runs on no hits. Nobody left on base. Gavin picks up two K's that inning. So coming up for the Eagles be LaRue, Markintel, and Aldridge. You're watching Eagle Baseball on 446 Sports. There are some things in life you can fix, and some things are better left to the professionals. When your vehicle has transmission problems, what will you do? Go where you know. Go, go where you know, certified transmission. And welcome back to Eagles Nest here. Good catch, Mr. Perkins. Uh, our tablet was working correctly, but uh, uh, Wallace I Associate scoreboard was not. But here we are on top of the third. one nothing for the Eagles. If Cohen LaRue up the bat with Carter Morgan telling the X mark on deck circle. It's a play here to the third baseman. Long throw and gets LaRue out for the first out of the inning. So Sweat, and who's a freshman, it's a good play on that one. You have Carter Mark until up the bat. He almost waited on it. Let me get this back on my. <laughs> he almost waited on it too long, though. That's that. Uh, that's that one Nate does such a good job with. He'll go get it, and uh, on a short hop and strike one there from Parks to Mark until Drake Aldridge next mark on deck circle. Parks coming in throwing strikes. He works quick as well. We'll number there to the shortstop. Shortstop the first baseman for the second now. That's a six to three. So, so right about now, you might want to call offensive timeout here. Just, just to slow down. Go all, all Jay Johnson, huh? Yeah. Give, uh, give Gavin a little bit of rest. Of course, he's he's not throwing all pitches yet. So, Drake Aldridge up the bat now with. Been waiting, X mark on deck circle. Drake, one for one. Single last time up. Stranded. Strike one there from Park. So he he's getting ahead of him, and that, that makes a big difference. Yep. One and one. Yeah, we were in Arkansas. Boy, they, they were getting on to Johnson because but uh it's a shot here to third baseman again. Quick throw and got the tag on on Drake there. So that was a quick three up, yep. three down. So, Danny, what do we have? Well, the Eagles had no runs, no hits. Nobody left on base. Coming up for Glenmore, Townley, Sweat, and Coker. You're watching Eagle Baseball, 446 Sports. Time for our red, white, and cool summer event at Southern Air Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing. Right now, you can save on a new energy saving system. No money down, 0% interest, and no payments till June 2024. Call Southern Air Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing or visit us online. Our mobile banking app is changing the way we bank. 
Things are getting easier, transactions are getting safer, and you have access 24-7. All the functionality of banking you're used to made easier to use anywhere, anytime, and more secure than ever. Simple, seamless, safe. Download our mobile app today. And we're going to the bottom of the third inning here at the Nest with uh, Townley up to bat with uh, Sweat and your X mark on deck circle. See Townley there. Gavin Hilton still on the mound for the Eagles. First pitch to Townley. Ball one low. I need to finish my story of the night. I'm going to tell it now, though, because we was talking about the – we was talking about the, the crowd. The, the crowd, yeah. It got hushed and it was strike one. Yeah, it went quick. That yeah. went quick, didn't it? Yeah, and uh, got hushed. So <laughs> we were playing in Loyola and uh, New Orleans. Riverside Hospital foul ball there. And they didn't have a home field, so they were playing at the Audubon Park, which is right behind the zoo, between the zoo, the Audubon Zoo, and the levee. Oh, wow. So you had the levee on one side. You know, you saw the – the the bar just passing by, <laughs> and uh, Sabine State Bank strike out there for Hilton. So, and then the zoo on the other side, you hear the elephants going off in the enclosure over there, and and uh, of course not being on campus, they didn't have a lot of fans. If they had any, we had two fans: my wife and the catcher. His his wife was uh, there. Them them two they made the, they made the trip, and. Uh, I usually don't hear people in the – of course, we're in the park, too. Let me clarify that. Mm -hmm. Where on a Saturday afternoon, the people – or Sunday afternoon, I think this was. Sunday afternoon, people do what they do at the parks. They go out, have their music playing, they're cooking. Uh, a lot of different – Strike one, so not two and one. A lot of different groups out there. And uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of them were enjoying their adult beverages <laughs> and uh, – Good pitch. Good pitch there, two and two. And uh, this is sweat up the bat with Coker and your X mark on deck circle, by the way. I go in to pitch, and uh, again, I usually don't hear much from the crowd, and I don't pay attention much to it. And uh, must have been outside, yeah. so full count here. And uh, a group of the guys that were over partaking in their beverages made their way over and started heckling. <laughs> I didn't hear a thing they were saying. Riverside Hot. No, that's a uh, Sabine State Bank strikeout there for for Hilton. I thought he might have fouled it off, but no, uh, he, uh, he, he. I think Ben it hit the dirt, so yeah. Ben made the tag. But they they started giving me some heckles, and and my wife <laughs> decides to tell them maybe not so politely. <laughs> Not nah, Miss Becky. To leave me alone. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> that just the only time I've ever had a reaction to somebody outside the 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 field was at that point when I, I stepped off the mound mid pitch <laughs> and looked over at my wife <laughs> and just shook my head and like <laughs> Oh, good pitch. Good pitch there. So now one and let me tell you, that was the only time you've ever that's the only time you ever shook, yeah, your, I shook just, your head at you your know, wife, correct? I, that is probably correct. <laughs> but I just didn't want to have to go over there and and a group of uh, guys might have to pull my wife and that's strike three. So that's three Strikes strikeouts. Yep. Yeah, so another Sabine State Bank strikeout there for Gavin Hilton. So what do we have here, Danny? Yeah, no runs, no hits. Nobody left on base. Coming up for the Eagles, Wade, Butterfield, and Bilbo. You're watching Eagle Baseball on 446 Sports. Hi, I'm Kimberly Harrell, Certified Residential Appraiser. I am currently a leading provider of appraisal services for mortgage lending, employee relocation, estate planning, and community property settlements. My experience in real estate over the past 13 years and currently serving 
as president of the Greater Central Louisiana Realtors Association has given me a clear understanding of the real estate world and the ever-changing market we live in today. For any of your valuation needs, give me Kimberly Harrell a call. In Central Louisiana, you might see me at the ballparks or soccer fields, or we might cross paths at the grocery store. I'm your local Farm Bureau insurance agent, your local expert when it comes to protecting what you love and depend on. I'm Jason Hall. Learn more about how Farm Bureau insurance can save you time and money. So talk to Hall at 318-791-HAWK and let me help you protect your biggest investments. Real service, real people. Farm Bureau insurance. And welcome back to Eagles Nest here in the top of the fourth inning where your Eagles are leading one nothing over the home Glenmore Wildcats. We have uh, been weighed up to bat with uh, Case Butterfield and the X mark on deck circle. Ben lined out the shortstop last time. Another shot here from third baseman. He's hitting it hard just yep. at people tonight. So that's one Pitch one out there for Parks in the top of the fourth inning. Case Butterfield up the bat now with uh, it should be Nate Bilbo and the X mark on deck circle. And uh, the Eagles need to find a way to slow Parks down a little bit. Yeah, get him out of his rhythm. Riverside Hospital foul ball there going to the dugout. So yeah, um, yeah, this might be a <laughs> time for a Jay Johnson offensive timeout. Boy, they heckled him about that. That's a shot there, but yeah. once again to the shortstop. So six to three again. So three pitches. Two outs here in the top of the fourth. Parks almost threw as many pitches to Cooper and when he came in in the second than he has to the next five batters. We saw him come out here, like you said. We he, you saw him at the in the bullpen in between. There's a ground ball play there to Bordelon. Hit to Bordelon. Bordelon to Thrasher over there for a four to three. So that was a very quick inning, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> that was a four pitch inning. Wow. So what do we have coming back? No runs, no hits, nobody left on base. Coming up for Glenmore, it's a little top of the lineup: Parks, Gillespie, and Bordelon. You're watching Eagle Baseball 446 Sports. And Parks, your pitcher now up to bat with uh, Gillespie and the X mark on deck circle. Is this not Eagle baseball, Danny? Right. <laughs> Look up. It's the bottom of the fourth inning. Strike one there. To Parks from Hilton, and uh, it's one nothing. Yep, and going quickly. Strike two. Got out of there about Parks. One and two. Parks hit a sharp ground ball to short last time. Barreled up quite a few balls Tuesday night. Barreled one up earlier as well. Yeah. Huh? Foul tip yeah. there. So this time on. Ben's probably mad at himself for not hanging on to it. One two pitch from Hilton. 
Ring him up. So Bean State Bank strike out there for Gavin Hill. How many is that for him? That is uh, five strikeouts, but that's six out of the last seven. Wow. I'm sorry. That's six strikeouts, but six out of the last seven have okay. been strikeouts. Here's your shortstop Gillespie up to bat with Bordelon and next mark on deck circle. There's a little there's the little ploy to Gillespie takes a was in the box. Gavin got on the heel ready to pitch and Gillespie takes a timeout and steps back. Ball one there. Yeah, Gavin kind of gave a little arm motion like this, like, come on, man, come on. We enter we're on a roll. Riverside Hospital foul ball straight back there, so it's one and one. Gillespie's your shortstop, and he's had a good game. He's a freshman. Good-looking freshman. I mean, he yeah. plays, plays a good shortstop, swings a good bat, hits. Oh, blue. I don't know about that. Back down the box there. Yeah, he asked for time, but I think Gavin was already in his motion when he did. There's an hospital foul ball there to outside the left field foul line here, so. One and two now. Good Good pitch there. So Sabine State Bank strike out again. So, man, can he retire the sides back to back with strikeouts? Borland lined out the center field. He 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 hit one hard last time up. Yeah. So Borland up the bat with Gillespie and your X mark on deck circle. Boy, here we go again. Gonna have to. He's gonna have to control the hitters some some point. The ball. So it makes you wonder if uh, maybe it's not a tactic that we shouldn't take well, with Parks because Parks is moving as well. I agree. I mean, but <laughs> at some point you got to pay attention to what your pitcher's doing. Yep, one and one. Good pitch there by Gavin. You don't get that automatically. Riverside Hospital foul ball. And Not a lot of room over there. So goes out of play there. Run out of room pretty quick. So one and two now. To Bordelon. Your pitch. Him Got up. him. Sabine State big strikeout. So he strikes out the side two innings in a row, correct, Dan? That is correct. No runs, no hits, nobody left on base. Coming up for the Eagles, Guillory, Hilton, and Scott. You're watching Eagle Baseball, 446 Sports. At Certified Transmission, you can count on our certified mechanics. With over 35 years' experience to get your vehicle fixed right and get you back on the road. Got transmission problems? Go where you go. Certified Transmission. Time for our red, white, and cool summer event at Southern Air Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing. Right now, you can save on a new energy saving system. No money down, 0% interest, and no payments till June 2024. Call Southern Air Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing or visit us online. And welcome back to Eagle's Nest. The top of the fifth inning here. In this pitcher's duel. Yep. In this uh, district matchup. Sorry, I was looking at my phone a second. The second matchup between the Wildcats from Glen Moore and your Eagles. Uh, Eagles won Tuesday night, 6-4. to four, And leading right now, one to nothing, top of the fifth. We have uh, Jay Guillory up to bat with uh, Gavin Hilton in the X mark on deck circle. Jake got on last in last time up up with an error by the third baseman. Ball one there from Parks. See some pitches from Parks here. 
strike there. So one and one. I think that might have been a conversation Coach had at some point. Was, guys, we got to start seeing some more pitches. Ooh, one and two. Even if we're taking strikes, to be honest, because, I mean, he's – I think he's pitched maybe nine pitches the last two innings. Play there up the Ooh, good play. middle by the shortstop. Safe, though. Yeah. But, man, what a play he made, yeah. you know, re ranging all the way to his left. For a freshman, that was, uh, that was solid. Yeah, and he knows he probably knows Guillory's speed. So, yeah. so Guillory wait to see what the score is on that one, but uh, I probably would give that one a hit. Yeah, though. that's I, I would say a hit as well. So we're gonna uh, see Gavin, your pitcher, up to bat with Cooper Scott and the X mark on deck circle. Yeah, very good play there by yeah. Wyatt Gillespie. So bunt there. So let's see what Parks does. Parks. Throws it to your actual second baseman covering. So first out, but that does advance Guillory to second base. So Gavin did his job. You see Cooper Scott in your clear cam with uh, with um, Cohen LaRue and your X mark on deck circle. Small ball action. Now he had a uh, yeah, oh. some tough score in here. They're uh, going to walk oh, Scott. Tough scoring here. They gave that a error on Jay's ball. Wow. Yeah. Man, come on, guys. I need some home cooking here for some <laughs> some batting averages, huh? So you see in your clear cam, Cohen LaRue and your X mark on uh, in your batting and Carter Mark and Till and your X mark on deck circle. Guillory on second, Scott on first, one out, top of the fifth. Strike one here to to Cohen. A couple of Grace Warriors. Here's the pitch here. A couple of Grace Warriors in the house tonight. We've got, excuse me, Coach Ladner is over here watching the game. And uh, Braden Wells, one of the starters for Grace, who's having a good year. 1-1 one, one pitch here. Outs. Mm. Oh, oh, and Cooper, Cooper went, so Jay has to go. A couple delays. <laughs> did he did the umpire signal? No. I guess he's safe. <laughs> yeah, he's he's safe. He's uh I'm not sure the ball got far enough away, but Jay didn't see it. And then and Cooper, Cooper did, but by the time <laughs> Jay Jay looked at Cooper and seen him coming, I gotta go. Uh, interesting there. So so we have two to two and one to LaRue. Strike two makes it two and two. We have Guillory at third and Scott at second. Cohen needs to put the ball in play. Infield's back. So something in play on the ground, probably. Outside there again. So probably scores a run. So now it's full count here. Carter Mark and Till in the X mark on deck circle. I feel like he's going to come back with fastball here just to. Oh. LaRue goes down swinging there, so second out of the inning. All right, this is those two out hits that have been kind of elusive all season. Yep. Carter up to bat with Drake Aldridge next mark on deck circle. Still Guillory on third, Scott on second, first pitch from Parks. Strike one to Carter. I'm making Parks pitch, throw some pitches this inning. Mm. I think he was expecting the curveball yeah. on that one and got the fastball got by fooled. him. Yeah, got fooled. So let's see here. So 2 here to Mark and Tell. Two outs. There's not a hot note. See if that one's going to get out of play. play yep. yep, just out of play. Riverside Hospital foul ball there. Mark until stays alive. Yeah, you know, that rain, that rain brought in some bugs. Yeah, it did. So the gnats are are out. 
want to thank Certified Transmission, our title sponsor for Menard Eagle Baseball and 446 Sports. Outside there, so that makes it one and two. Riverside Hospital. Sammy Grimes. Choose who your health care. Choose Riverside Hospital. One, two here to Carter. Mm. Uh, outside fastball there got him. So the third out inning. What do we have, Danny? No runs on no hits. Two runners left on base. Coming up for Glenmore, Gillespie, Thrasher, and Holloway. You're watching Eagle Baseball 446 Sports. BK Distributors is proud to support high school athletics on 446 Sports. BK is the one-stop shop for trophies, banners, awards, letter jackets, and just about anything award-related. And now, welcome BK Apparel and BK Promotions to the family. For all your spirit apparel needs and anything you need to brand your business, when you think of anything you need with your name on it, think BK. Check them out on Facebook or at bkdistrib.com. BK Distributors, apparel and promotions in podcast. Welcome back to Eagles Nest here where we have Gillespie up to bat with Thrasher next mark on deck circle. Got a timeout here for, I guess, Jay was fixing his hat in center field. A little distracting. First pitch from Hilton's a strike. So he has found his zone. Yep, he's dealing. Mixing it up really well. And that's something else, too. Ben calls his own pitches. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's just impressive. You know, one thing he was talking about the other night with the with the wet ball. Ball one there. So. Gillespie over here warming up. Okay. In the bullpen. One, two pitch. That one was a little low. Two and two. Hunter Gillespie's at the plate. Actually, that's ball three. And Wyatt Gillespie is like the shortstop. Danny says warming up over here. Did Wyatt pitch the? Did, yeah. Was he the one? The he third came in one? The last yeah, one. That's yeah. what I thought. Yeah. Okay. So three two here. Young man, I think that's twice you've had to go pick up your bat. So being State Bank strike out there, and I don't know if uh. Anybody in the the white, the home team, was happy with that one. <laughs> yeah. Umpires in white kind of disagreed with the umpire in the blue. And to be honest with you, I don't I don't think it's a strike either, but he's been calling it all night. Right. I mean, that's the thing. And See, I'll say that, that. This was a breaking ball. And from where you're at, when you look, when he catches it, yeah, it, it might look like it's low, but that's not where it crossed the plate. That's true. That's a good point. Yeah. So and Thrasher's up to bat now with Holloway in your X mark on deck circle. I'm sorry, Danny. No, nah, that's, that's a quick breaking curveball, so it's not like yeah. uh, not like what Borlaug was throwing. It was, it was not that big looper. Um, it, was, it breaks quick, so it could have stayed in the zone. And they are mixing it up really. Oh, Riverside Hospital foul ball there for, for Thrasher. But, yeah, Ben and Gavin are really mixing it up yeah. really well tonight. Got him there. Nope. 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 Foul, foul tip. Okay. Hung on, Ben. Almost held on to it. Yep. I also thank X Mark Sin Law Dealers. Jay Guillory. See that one, he's you know, he's letting that high one. Yeah. Landing up home care, which we've actually called a couple little ones tonight with Lynn Morris pitch and change. Jamie Shelton and the Central Management Group. 
There it is. Got him. Sabine State Bank strikeout there for Gavin Hilton. So that's eight strikeouts in a row. That's correct. For Hilton. Green Garden Nursery. Steve and Donna Wade. Donna and Steve Wade. Appreciate those guys. First pitch to Holloway. So Rivers Hospital foul ball over the away stands tonight for strike one. Sabine State Bank, Jason Tarver. Appreciate Jason's support. Hope he's watching the game. Louisiana Land Bank, Robert Crotty. Taking a timeout yeah, there. Yeah, so. again, I, I, Gavin's really close. He, of course, he, he takes a he takes his wind up and he pauses. And I think there was a couple times the umpire hit there. It's Holloway singles up the middle, so good at bat there for Holloway. So that's the first hit of the night. Oh, first was it? base runner. Yep. yep. Wow, I, I didn't was, realize yep, that. Yep. Well, you know, you, you've already been chastised, and I, yep, I, I don't think it's that big of a deal. And <laughs> uh, but uh, I didn't want to be the one to Gavin. Gavin. Uh, yeah. Uh, Drake's going to call a timeout here. Because Gavin went to the windup with a runner on first base. <laughs> first Runner at first base didn't notice it until uh, it was too late. But Drake called timeout, said, Gavin, settle down. Back pick there. Holloway's back safely. So, and, but, uh, but yeah, I don't, I don't, you know, I'm not that big a deal on the, the no hit curse. That's not, uh, you know. <laughs> As somebody that pitched and and had some, Holloway off here on the oh, pitch. Oh, throw there. He was. Yep. So he was dead to right. Three zero. So Holloway advances the second on the the steal. So being very aggressive here, still one nothing. So. But yeah, so I, as a as a pitcher, that it bothered me more when people treated it differently and and <laughs> didn't talk to me, than ball four. So now we Gavin's first little adversity tonight. Yeah, Let's see if uh, I thought maybe coach would come out and give him a talk, but maybe maybe give him one more. Sweat up the bat with Coker in your X mark on deck circle. Strike one there, swing and strike by Sweat. Sweat's a freshman, third baseman. Had a great play the other night whenever he faked the throw to first and got Carter back at second. Strike two. So Gavin's Gavin can't settle back down, yeah. get himself out of this jam. I think he just lost a little focus there. Uh, timeouts and again I think one of them was late kind of picked off here yep. going to third and well done caught stealing there from Hilton to Bilbo so one to one to five there to retire side what do we have Danny Glenmore gets up uh, no runs on one hit they had one runner left on base after the pickoff coming up for the Eagles, Aldridge, Wade, and Butterfield. You're watching Eagle Baseball on 446 Sports. At Certified Transmission, you can count on our certified mechanics with over 35 years' experience to get your vehicle fixed right and get you back on the road. Got transmission problems? Go where you go. Certified Transmission. And we're welcome back to Eagles Nest here where you can see in your screen you're from your NA pitch cam. The new pitcher for Glenn Moore is this is um Wyatt Gillespie, who was your shortstop, and your new shortstop is 
is Cameron Parks. So they just switched positions, Danny, here in the top of the sixth inning. Yeah, Parks was pitching well, but I have my guess is that they he pitched he had some pitches he threw the other night and and coming back after one day of rest. They probably I'm not gonna say maybe had him a pitch count, but they, they probably were gonna limit him. Yeah, and then like I said, they have a double header tomorrow night against Rapide, so they're gonna need all the arms they can they can they have for tomorrow as well. Drake Aldridge up to bat now. <laughs> See him in your clear cam with uh, Ben Wade and your X mark on deck circle. And Danny, uh, <laughs> Coach Turney said that it was going to be all hands on deck tonight for pitching. And yeah. well, <laughs> so had, far, it's just been yeah. one. <laughs> so we got we had somebody warming over there, but yeah. See who that is. That is Jay Guillory actually warming up. Riverside Hospital foul ball. So one and one now. For sure, he'd like to have a few more runs before he had to make a change. But Wes Gavin was tiring. One one pitch here. Ball. Glenmore's been impressive. They they, they pitched the ball well. They hit the ball well and and, and play good defense. So yeah. they're a scrappy club. Shot here up the middle, so Just that's another hit. Drake Aldridge with another single there, so Drake continues his hot streak. See if they update live. I think it does. So we have now Ben Wade yeah, up to bat not. with Nate Bilbo in the X mark on deck circle. Ben again stung the ball twice. Nothing to show for it right now, but pitch from White. Strike one there. Eagles leading one nothing. Top of the sixth. Thought maybe we'd had a pinch runner for Drake in this situation. One and one now. Ball outside, low and outside. Yeah, I was, uh, <laughs> went back and watched a replay on Channel 5 of Drake sliding in the third. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Probably a good thing the third baseman <laughs> wasn't there. <laughs> that would have been a, a straight red in soccer. So 1-1. One, one. Riverside Hospital foul ball straight back there to make it 1-2. and two. These Nats are getting aggressive as yes, that sir. sun goes down. Have to get us some... Uh, does off work on those? Vanilla <laughs> extract or something for those. They need to put my, uh, what's that thing, uh, thermocell in my yeah, truck. Yeah. So one, two to Ben. That one's high, so two and two. Yeah. Eagles could definitely use an insurance run here. See if ben trying, can to go, one. trying to go undefeated in the district. Pick off there, Drake back. Good move there by yep. Wyatt Gillespie. Secured the district championship on Tuesday night, but would love to go undefeated and keep power rankings where they're at, at the least. 2-2 two -two pitch to Wade. Got him swinging on that one off-speed pitch there, so it's not going to be what Coach Jordan was looking for, no. but... See if Nate, no, this is Case, but see if Case can't pick him up here. Nate. Talk about enough about Case. Case is going to, where's he going to play? Case is going to South Arkansas University Tech. Okay. There will be the signing for all six of them next to this Tuesday. First out hospital foul ball there over to Fieldhouse. So if you can't come. Come watch in person at the at the gym at two o'clock. Uh, we will be live on four four six sports. Um, and we've also learned that uh, Jaden is going to Wiley College. Drake is Drake with a running. stolen base and yep. Oh, he's out yeah. there so. I don't know if that was a... Yeah, not sure if we straight still and 
Drake or not, but <laughs> one one now, one and one now to to Case. Talking, Nobody talking. He had to talk with Coach as he passed by over there. <laughs> and, you know, all two. Drake's, <laughs> Drake's had another moment this year that Coach shaking his head. I think he laid down the bunt with two outs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Case with a Riverside Hospital foul ball there. Case has had a solid year out here in the outfield. He had the pleasure of uh, being your first home run <laughs> That's call right. here at the Nest. That's right. See ya, Doug Gann, <laughs> on, the, uh, on the home run call there. So we've had two out here, and, you know, both of them were exciting. Both of them came straight towards us. 2-1 pitch here. We take another Sorry, one right two, two now, pitch. Case. Yeah. Well. Might be difficult here for Parks, but nope, he's there. So Parks catches the pop up there. So what do we have, Danny? No runs, no hits, nobody left on base. Coming up for Glenmore. Sweat was at bat, but uh, that pick off in last inning. So it's Sweat, Coker, and Parks. You're watching Eagle Baseball on 446 Sports. In central Louisiana, you might see me at the ballparks or soccer fields, or we might cross paths at the grocery store. I'm your local Farm Bureau insurance agent, your local expert when it comes to protecting what you love and depend on. I'm Jason Hall. Learn more about how Farm Bureau insurance can save you time and money. So talk to Hall at 318-791-HAWK and let me help you protect your biggest investments. Real service, real people. Farm Bureau insurance. BK Distributors is proud to support high school athletics on 446 Sports. BK is the one-stop shop for trophies, banners, awards, letter jackets, and just about anything award-related. And now, welcome BK Apparel and BK Promotions to the family. For all your spirit apparel needs and anything you need to brand your business, when you think of anything you need with your name on it, think BK. Check them out on Facebook or at bkdistrib.com. BK Distributors, apparel and promotions in Pineville. And welcome back to Eagles Nest here for the bottom of the sixth inning. We, the Wildcats are up to bat here and, uh, like I said, they're in the, the all whites because they are the home team tonight. So, this is Wyatt Gillespie, your pitcher, with no, I'm, yes, am I correct? No, 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 this is no, this is no on the sweat. Excuse me. Yep, yep, sweat up to bat. Yeah, with, sweat Coker. Yeah, Coker and the X mark on the X circle. So, Gavin thrown. Uh, 66 pitches coming into this inning. 42 of them are strikes. So. Yeah, it was going along really well until that last inning had a had a little bit of adversity. So, 2 1 now here to Sweat. Riverside Hospital foul ball there. Coach West will field. Make the throw to Hilton. So now 2 and 2. You know, last time we saw Gavin pitch here was he pitched uh Got him, Sabine State Bank <coughs> strikeout there for the first out of the this is eleventh strikeout. But uh Gavin pitched five in as a no hit baseball in the last time yeah. we was here. And uh wound yeah. up uh, coming out of the game. They gave up uh they gave up a hit or two before the game ended, but uh Gavin pitched uh pitched five in as a no hit ball. Yeah, Ronnie was really impressed with him that night. This is Coker up the bat with Parks in the X mark on deck circle. Would really like to have Park, uh, Parks come up with nobody on. Yeah, for sure. One and one. That's a nine hole hitter right here. Throw strikes right here. Ball a little high. Like our Wallace High Associate scoreboard has been working since we reset it. Got him. Nope, I'm no, sorry. Nope, that's two. two. Excuse two. me. Excuse me. Get a little ahead of myself. Two and two now. Pull out. Ball three. Three and two. That can get him out here, Gavin. Don't, oh. put, don't put that nine hole hitter on. 
Three two here from Hilton to Coker. Yep. Got him. Sabine State Bank strikeout there. Second of the inning for Gavin Hilton. And that, does that put him in double digits? Oh, he's that's twelve. That's so, twelve. Oh yeah. wow. So excellent. Twelve through five and two thirds. So. Parks up the bat with White Gillespie and the X mark on deck circle. Ball one. I want to thank Valex Federal Credit Union, our title sponsor for 446 Sports. Shot here to Nate. Caught it in the nice. air. So excellent job there by Nate Bilbo for the third out of the inning. What do we have, Danny? All right, no runs, no hits. <laughs> Nobody left on base. Coming up for the Eagles, Bilbo, Guillory, and Hilton. You're watching Eagle Baseball on 446 Sports. And welcome back to Eagles Nest here with Nate Bilbo up to bat with Jay Giller and the X mark on deck circle. Top of the seventh. Danny, this game has flown well, by. It's some good pitching by both teams. Gavin, we know what Gavin's done on the hill, but Borlon started. Started to struggle a little bit. Parks coming in. Parks shut the door. Pitched well, and then now Gillespie's. Yep, ball one there. Done well so far. Through his one inning. So, Gillespie pitching to Gillespie. Yeah. Wyatt pitching to Hunter. One's a, Wyatt's a freshman, Hunter's a senior. They Bilbo there with a ground ball. See what's going to oh. All right. We'll take it. Now, traditionally, that that is correct. Your third baseman is supposed to come across yep. to make that play, right? Yeah, 100% of the time. Okay. 100% okay. So, yep. you take anything at third base, anything you can get to is yours. And uh, even if you're cutting the shortstop off, because he's going left. Right. <laughs> you're going toward the bag. So, gotcha. So, we have Jay Giller up the bat with Gavin Hilton, your X mark on deck circle. I don't know how aggressive right. they're going to be right. with Nate. We'll see here. Yeah. I would say that's Jay with the bunt gets it bunt. down. Going to go to first. Fielder's choice there. So, good job. Looking, looking for an insurance here. Good sacrifice bump yep. there by Guillory. So now Gavin's up the bat. See if Gavin can help himself tonight. Yep. With Cooper Scott and the X mark on deck circle. Be the last home, last regular season home game for the Eagles. They wow. Go to, they go to uh, Buckeye Monday night, right? Yes. And then we'll start the postseason. We'll at least be one round at home, hopefully more than one. And that will be seen right here on 446 Sports. First round of playoffs. Ball one there to Hilton. I guess technically it's the second round, isn't it? Because it's going to be. Yeah. First round. Gonna look at the first round by. Yep. So. Gillespie to Gillespie. I got to see. You got to. Well, no, I guess Tyler. Matthew didn't play together. Ah. Nope. Fortunately, uh, fortunately got back there, so that's second out there. He Hilton lines out to to sweat third baseman. Snake bit right there. Yeah. That was a barreled up. Cooper Scott up the bat now with Cooper Cohen yeah, LeBrew. He gets a walk. Yeah, his second intentional walk for the night. So now we have Cohen LaRue up the bat with. Carter Marker to the next mark on deck circle. 
and uh, see if uh, Cohen can. Hasn't been able to so far, but we'll, we'll. He's been hitting a lot better in that two hole than where he was earlier in the season. Hit he got hit, so base is loaded now for Carter Markintel. So that's a lot of respect for Cooper, though. Yeah, that is. Coach West going to come out and. Nobody's warming, so unless he's pulling somebody from the field, then we'll probably talk about defense yeah. here. Seeing your screen, everybody's coming in, so we'll switch over to that A and A pitch cam. Want to thank them again for being part of our broadcast and allowing us to have a second camera up there, and uh, also Magnolia Construction, Chris Albanian for the left field perch out here. I'm glad to be back on it, so I enjoy being out here. Uh, South of the four-way catering. Uh, appreciate Coach LaRue. John Wolf's family, John Wolf and family, sponsors of not only this broadcast, but big uh, big supporters of Holy Savior Menard School and Athletics. And John's actually uh, the color guy for the color analyst for Menard Eagle football with Tom Boucher. See Carter getting back in the batter's box here. Drake Aldridge next mark on deck circle. Now Bilbo at third, Scott at second, LaRue at first. Strike one there to Carter. Two outs, top of the seventh. Eagles leading one to nothing. Wyatt Gillespie on the mound for the Wildcats. You know, those two big two out hits we, we would like to have. Gillespie stepped off there for a second, so... 0-1 here to Carter. The deep fly here. Let's see if that's going to get down. No. Nope. That's caught by Townley to retire to side. So what do we have here, Danny? The Eagles had no runs, no hits, three runners left on base. Coming up for Glenmore, Gillespie, Bordelon, Gillespie. You're watching Eagle Baseball on 446 Sports. At Certified Transmission, you can count on our certified mechanics. With over 35 years experience to get your vehicle fixed right and get you back on the road. Got transmission problems? Go where you go. Certified Transmission. Our mobile banking app is changing the way we bank. Things are getting easier. Transactions are getting safer. And you have access 24-7. All the functionality of banking you're used to made easier to use anywhere, anytime, and more secure than ever. Simple, seamless, safe. Download our mobile app today. Time for our red, white, and cool summer event at Southern Air Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing. Right now, you can save on a new energy saving system. No money down, 0% interest, and no payments till June 2024. Call Southern Air Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing or visit us online. And welcome back to Eagles Nest here on the campus of Holy Savior Menard in Alexandria, Louisiana. And we have Wyatt Gillespie, your pitcher, up the bat with Kian Bordelon in your ex-mark on deck circle. And this is the last three outs for the Wildcats here. Gavin, Gavin Hilton still on the mound. Can finish this out. Oh. A shot right here. It'll be a base hit in front of Case. So lead off. Lead off uh, single there by Wyatt Gillespie. He's just a he's just a player. Yeah. He's just a baseball player. See uh Kean Bordelon here up the bat with uh JT Thrasher. And you Mark warming on. up over there for the Eagles. I don't know how long he's gonna go with Gavin. Hadn't thrown a lot of pitches, but Gavin hadn't been on the mound a lot. Ball one there, so I don't see them trying to trying to advance. They're trying to steal. I could yeah. be could be wrong, but no, I, don't see, I don't think borderline three hole hitters gonna oh. punches that one over Curly's head. So Cooper Scott's there. So two singles back to back here for the Wildcats. So um, it's like Gillespie's up to bat now. See him in your screen. And, uh, 
We'll make a visit here in a second. Yep. We got a timeout. Coach Turney coming to the mound here. See the whole team coming in of the Eagles. It's getting interesting, Danny. Yep. yep. <laughs> well, you have the opportunities to get those insurance runs. Mm -hmm. and, and we have uh, actually Tristan Townley in the bullpen here for the for the Wildcats. So um, in case it goes any longer than seven. And uh, Hunter Gillespie, senior catcher. He's barreled up the ball a few times these two games. So this would be well. Menard took the time out. This was a time for Lemore was able to have their discussion. We'll see if he's going to lay down the bun here. It's a four-hole hitter, but that puts two runners in scoring position if you get it down. Chance to win the Infield's game. Infield's in for yep. Menard. Oh. You know, if that wouldn't have been if that wouldn't have been a foul ball, <laughs> jeez. So so oh one now to Gillespie. Doesn't look that comfortable with the yeah. <laughs> of course four hole hitter like you're talking about. So Ben, be ready to block everything up back there. He's done a great job so far this year. What kind of defense are we going to play on this bunt? Drake was coming in. Looks like Kevin steps like off there. Nate's crashing and. Or at that point, Nate was going to crash and Cohen was going to cover the base. See in your screen here, see Coach West talking to Hunter Gillespie. Very critical point of the, the game here. Why Gillespie at first, Bordelon, I mean, excuse me, a second, Bordelon at first on, on two back to back singles here in the top of the seventh. And. Hunter Gillespie was swinging there, so now it's 0-2, or is it? It's 0-2. Yep, 0-2, yep. so I never cleared the ball from, from Bordelon, so. Strikeout right here would be huge. We talked about Tuesday night how much this Wildcat team battled and definitely doing the same tonight. I wonder if this is where you may try to back pick the first base. Good job, Ben. Block there by Ben. Nothing wrong with that pitch there. Try to get him to chase. So now it's one and two. And for some reason, my one's not coming up on my ball. There we go. Might be because my fingers. So now one and two here. Sorry, I was trying to. Gavin steps off. Didn't mean to blow in everybody's <laughs> ear there. The but, yeah. <laughs> Trying to keep the gnats out of <laughs> yeah. your mouth. Yeah, sorry about <laughs> that. So one and two. Hunter Gillespie, senior catcher. That's Shot Jay to center field. That. Let's see. Jay's got it. So get it in. Well done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Unfortunate for Glenn Moore, but Eagles will, will take that uh, line out to center field. Still keeps a double play in order. Now we uh, now we have Thrasher up the bat, and he's the one that yep. he hit it over Carter's head, and one bounced a fence Tuesday night. So this is over yeah. two with two strikeouts right now. Yeah, Gavin's really had him kind of skating tonight. Strike one there, so. Yeah, it's taking a little more time. Oh, he's got a timeout. We got a runner coming in for Bordelon. Yeah, that was Thomas who came in and ran the other night and really quick on the base path. So. Let's reset it here. So we have White Gillespie at second, Thomas at first, Thrasher up to bat, Gavin Hilton still on the mound. And the pitch, strike two there. So road two. Well, that's tough. Gavin 
Gavin's been throwing that breaking ball, and he's been putting it in tough to hit spots, but it's tough to throw that breaking ball so the runners a chance to advance. So, But Thrasher hadn't seen that breaking ball very well. Riverside Hospital foul ball over here. Just gets out of play. So, Still 0-2 to Thrasher. How many pitches is for Gavin? Or, uh, He's thrown uh, 89 pitches. 89, okay. 0 2 again. Huh? So ball one there. So, so, hope we don't need him, but Shelton is, is warm. He's ready to go. 1 2 here. Got, Got him! him. Sir. Sabine State Bank strikeout there from Gavin Hilton. It's number 13 for Gavin. Now, Holloway has been, been the only one that hasn't been a strikeout victim tonight. Okay. He is, he got the, he broke up the no-hitter in the fifth, and he grounded out the second on that good play by Trey. Yep, so. So he's seen the ball well against Gavin so far. Holloway up the bat. Good pitch there from Gavin, strike one. With uh, Townley and your X mark on deck circle. O one here from Hilton to Holloway. A little high, so one and one. So far, my Gavin, that's been a good job to give up lead off singles and Battle back now. Got a balk. <laughs> okay, so he worked. Gillespie worked him out of that one. He, Gavin, comes set and he gave the he gave the fake as soon as Gavin was about to deliver, and Gavin must have gave a little pause. So now you see why Gillespie in your screen there. Well, no, he just went off the screen, so he's at third, ninety feet away, two outs. Bottom of the seventh, 1-1 one, one to Holloway. Now we have who, – who stepped out there? Did Holloway step I out or Gavin? Gavin? I okay, think Gavin, Gavin stepped off. Okay, him. yeah, collected himself here. So still 1-1. One, one. Got to worry about the man at the plate. Good job, Ben. Yep. Be ready to cover, Gavin, because that backstop is short. 2-1 two two and one now. Your Eagles still on top, one nothing. Good there pitch there, two and two. Get him, Gavin. Two and two. Gavin Hilton. Riverside Hospital foul ball over to Fieldhouse. So Holloway's battling. Gillespie trying to work that other run. He he gave the he gave the fake to, <laughs> to home on that. And Gavin Gavin was giving him a look, but he was already started his motion. Yeah. Just focus on on the batter. The only way the man can score from thirds if the ball's put in. Well, I guess he could get steal, but we seen it. Yeah, we have. Let's see here. Two and two. Ah. It was a foul tip. Yeah. Foul tip. So still two and two. So Ben catches that. That's, it's over. It's game. Okay. I got you. Okay. And he had it in his glove, just bounced yeah. out. Yeah, misdirection. Not the easiest thing to do. So Holloway's battling. Good job here from the Wildcat freshman. 2-2. Two, two. So 3-2 and two now. So Does have somewhere to put it. I was just fixing so. to say, good good call there, Danny. I was just fixing about to say the same thing. So that's not, uh, not pressure packed. We want to like to get this out here. But. Yep, 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 yep. Eagles win, Eagles win, Eagles win on the 14th. 14th <laughs> strikeout strike from Gavin Hilton. So now your 
course, they were your district champs already, but now you're 10-0 and undefeated district champs for the Eagles and Coach Jordan Marks. And what a game by the Wildcats, the home team tonight. They battled. It's been two very good baseball games to watch uh, this week. Danny, we're going to take a break and come back with the box score. You're watching Eagle Baseball on 446 Sports. And welcome back to the Eagle's Nest on the campus of Holy Savior Menard in Alexandria, Louisiana, where your Eagles, the away Eagles, beat the home Glenmore Wildcats tonight one to nothing in a thriller of a district match. It's a district game here. And Danny, what's your box score? <clears throat> the away Eagles scored one run on three hits, and they had no errors. Glenmore scored zero runs, three hits, they had four errors. They uh, leading the way for uh, Eagles at the plate. Uh, Cooper Scott went one for two, and he scored that long run. Wow. Uh, that was in that first inning where he singled and, <laughs> and advanced to second and, and third on an error and scored the one long run. Um, Drake went uh, two for three, uh, so that was accounted for the three hits. But uh, I think we'd say the, the player of the game for tonight, Gavin Hilton. Definitely. Seven innings, gave up uh, no runs, three hits. He only walked one. That's 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 the difference. Yep. And yep. but he had 14 strikeouts. So he yeah. was he was shoving tonight, as they say. Um, threw 99 pitches, but uh, not a not a good offensive performance for for the Eagles. But uh, Gavin brought them through on the mound and and get the one one zero shutout. Yeah, what an amazing game by him. And that's actually going to probably be the 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 one that Coach Jordan's going to bring out here for the post game interview. Um, uh, Danny, I mean, they gotta they gotta hit the ball Monday night. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they well, gotta I mean, hit the you ball get, Monday you gotta night. hit the ball from yeah. here on out. Right, I mean, you, right. You're not gonna be able to have off games going into playoffs. Um, so you would you you like to think that uh, they they get in the lab as they say and yeah. uh, figure something out. Um, but yeah, I mean, they they went through a stretch like this early in the season, uh, but they were losing these games. Right. Um, but uh, they they started hitting the ball. As of late, they started hitting the ball pretty well, and then, uh, then now they've last couple games they've they've struggled. Um, so we got to see if we can get in the lab and figure something out. Yeah, and of course the senior leadership here uh, by the fourteen seniors on this ball club definitely it's close games like this that uh that that you know that experience comes through uh, for sure. Just want to really uh want to say that the um the uh the Wildcats you know battled. You know, both games very good, very good. Uh, you know, games there for them. They're gonna they're gonna make the playoffs as well and go on. They, of course, they can't they can't uh, let this one get them down because they have a doubleheader tomorrow against uh, Red Rapids and that's a that's a a rivalry game. <laughs> you know, for for them. But uh, just really wanted to you know point out that they they battled hard. You know, and then do a really good job, Coach West and them and. Uh, we're going to take another break, see if we can't get Coach Jordan out. Uh, appreciate you. You're watching 446. Uh, you're watching Eagle Baseball on 446 Sports.
Our mobile banking app is changing the way we bank. Things are getting easier, transactions are getting safer, and you have access 24 seven. All the functionality of banking you're used to made easier to use anywhere, anytime, and more secure than ever. Simple, seamless, safe. Download our mobile app today. And welcome back to Eagles Nest here. Gavin, can you hear us? Yes, sir. So we're gonna we're gonna easily say player of the game. Oh, you know? for sure. Gavin, you know how many strike out you had? Uh fourteen. <laughs> Thank you. All right, all right. You count them or somebody told you? Uh someone told me. Okay. <laughs> man, great job. Uh, it's been a while since you've been on the mound, man, but uh great job. Uh you know, Coach Coach Turney told us after the first game in the post game of uh Tuesday night against Glenn Moore that it was gonna be all all arms on deck. Every every man on deck to to pitch and uh Man, they only needed one, so good job. Congratulations. Yeah, uh, Coach Jordan, I haven't pitched in a minute, so Coach Jordan texted me this morning. and was like, you want to pitch? And I was like, sure. And um, he was like, he said something about really only going three innings. I was expecting to go three innings, but went the whole game. It was working. So, uh, yeah. you, uh, I don't know if you – last time we saw you pitch anyway, you uh, went five innings, no hit ball. You went four and two-thirds tonight, a no hit ball. And, uh, I know, and the thing is, as soon as someone said perfect game <laughs> – <laughs> Come on. Um, so tell me though, I, I I was I was about to get upset because I felt like they were they were trying to to, to get you out of your rhythm, obviously, yeah. and I get that. But I felt there was a couple times they was a little late on it. Did, did had you started your motion on a couple of them? Wait, a little late on on, on calling the timeout, stepping out of the box, stepping out of the oh, box. Oh yeah, yeah. They were they were just I don't know. They were just doing that. They were trying to get my head. Yeah, out I knew this. they were trying to get you out. But I looked like to me there was at least once that, that that they were stepping out and you had already started your motion. No, yeah, I there was there was three. It was like three times I did because I remember yeah. I was like this and I was like this and they yeah. called it and I stepped off. I about to say because I, I I knew you pause on your motion and 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 umpire I I, I thought he shouldn't have gave a timeout. And of course that was one of the ones where he got a hit on you and he he he, he uh. Well, so what was working tonight? Everything. I mean, yeah, I just didn't try to throw my artist and I tried to place the ball and, and the umpire, I mean, to be honest, he did have a he had a good zone. I mean, he had a, like a little bit. There were some calls that maybe were balls, but I mean it still worked. And, I think he was consistent. He yeah, kept I mean, he kept that low strike yeah. there and it was consistent. So we I mean, you know happy with that. But, but uh, I mean my curveball was doing working good. I mean there was sometimes it was in the dirt a little high, but my fastball was pretty good. For most part I feel like I threw a lot of strikes, so Good job. Well done, young man. Yeah, yeah. Great, great effort there. And uh Look forward to Monday night now. Enjoy this one for the weekend, and uh, and then Monday night uh, we, you go to Buckeye. So yes, you guys have a lot of fun on Monday night. So we'll have Coach Jordan come in right now. Congratulations. Let's see. Can you hear us, Coach? Yep, I'm good. All right. Uh, Interesting game, Coach. Yeah, <laughs> not our best. Uh, hats off to Glenmore. Those yeah. guys battled and, 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 and tested us and, and, you know, went all the way down to the wire with them. Uh, I feel like we need a good practice day, and that's what we're going to do tomorrow. You know, kind of get back to who we are and what we need to be. Uh, it's kind of tough doing these after you just give a, a post-game talk to the guys. But, no, <laughs> hey, look, we're 10-0 in district, you know, on the positive note, district undefeated district champions. Uh Proud of the guys for that, but uh, got got one more regular season and then it, it playoff time comes. So. Talk talk about that young man that just left from this. <laughs> so we this had, we had a conversation as a coaching staff, and I asked him. I said, "Guys, you know, he he threw a really good game against Barb earlier in the year, um, and I think he threw another good game. I can't remember who it was. It against. was against uh, was it Natchitoches Central and a Coca and a Coca and a Coca and a Coca. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, and you know, I wanted to see what he could do. Of course, we're going into playoff time, so you. I want to give one, all the guys, you know, one last chance to see what we got. And uh, look what he did for us. What, he yeah. had 14 strikeouts? Uh, that's what it, he, he went, uh, I told him, I said, I don't know if you realize this. He pitched in the Anacoca game. He had five innings and no hit ball. Yep. And then he Here had four, four and two-thirds. That's right. And then the kid gets the hit. And, and like I told him, I, I was – I felt like there was several times where, of course, I know he was quick and and, and everything. I know what they were doing. They were trying to, to get him, get him out of his rhythm. rhythm. Yeah. But I felt like there was a couple times where he would already started his motion. It's all of them. Yeah. Every single one of them. That, that, you know, and that's what we're talking about in the dugout and this and that. But, hey, that's that's baseball. But they were. I mean, those guys challenged us. And, uh, you know, like I said, tip your hat to Glenn Moore. They, they, they came here both times and, and battled us 
all the way to seven. Yep. So. You get back to the lab, right? Oh, yeah. Cause, there's cause, no doubt. We're going tomorrow. Yeah, I told him. I said, you bring your shorts and everything else. It's going to be a late one tomorrow night. <laughs> there you so. go. That's a, all right, Coach. So we're going to have uh, the Coach's Show around the diamond with, uh, with Scully and uh, and Marks on uh, Sunday evening, 7 8 at Buffalo Wild Wings. And then, man, we got to get ready for those Panthers across the river, huh? No doubt. They call it today, and they, 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 they want some of us. So <laughs> we're going to see. Coach, we definitely appreciate it. As always, congratulations. 10 0 in district championship. Yep. And uh, look forward to this weekend. Appreciate it. Nick and Danny, thank you. Guys. Thanks a lot. All right, yes, sir. Yep. So, um, so Danny, I mean, we're district That's champs. Thirteen in a row. Yeah. Uh, Nineteen and, uh, and eight. Yeah, wasn't the best. Wasn't the best start of the season, but definitely ended ended well. And uh, like I said, one more big challenge uh, on Monday. Uh, we will not broadcast that one, but uh, we do look forward to the first round or second round of playoffs, uh, where your Eagles will host uh, here at the Nest at least two games because it's the best two out of three series. And uh, and uh, once again, Danny Clear, I appreciate you. He's Danny Clear. I'm Nick McNano. Um, you guys have a good evening. May the Lord bless you.